Hello, my own school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, y'all, it's Saturday night, and I got a super, super, uh, how can I say this? Luxury sent to me, gave to me. I got some fishing buddies that have these fancy boats that like to go out in the ocean and fish. And they only do it for the leisure. They don't really do it for the catch. And when they catch fish, they bring me the fish. So what I have here, y'all, I got some fresh black drum, which was caught two days ago. It was swimming two days ago, and they give it to me yesterday, and I'm going to fry this up. Like I said, I'm a fisherman. I'm a bank fisherman. I don't get in no boats. I ain't grew up in no boats, and I don't, it's too much water in the ocean. I don't like to get somewhere where I can't see no land. So I let them do all that boat fishing. Just give me what you uh, catch, and they bring it back all filleted and cleaned up and it's just awesome and it's good to have some awesome fishing buddies like that yeah the fish don't only come to me but it already come filleted and clean so that's even another other luxury so what i'm gonna do i wash the fish off and all i'm gonna do y'all i'm gonna step back all i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut it in half when i fry it see i'm just cutting it in half because the pieces are so i like to have like i don't like to fry the whole fish like that so uh, what I do, I just cut it in half after I wash it. And this black drum, this is in like in the redfish family, but to me it's better than redfish because it's more of a thin, flakier fish than a redfish. Let's see if I can get them all cut, yeah. Okay, now, let me clean this little board up here. Now all I'm gonna do, y'all, y'all know I like my Louisiana. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my I got some potato wedges that I get from Omaha Foods. It's some awesome potato wedges. You ever go to OmahaFoods.com? They got some potato wedges. I'm gonna put them in my air fryer right quick, y'all. Get them cooking. Well, I'm gonna have potato wedges and fried fish. Doesn't go, it doesn't get no better than that. So I'm gonna put them in my air fryer. Get them cooking while my fish is cooking. Like I say, this is like a fish fry Saturday night. And believe me, I got a couple of people I'm feeding this for, other than me. So it's going to be enough for, for three people over here, y'all. Let me set this here. Okay, got that going there. Now. now, all I'm going to do, y'all, let me set this out here to the side over here. Let me turn my fire up here on my on my grease there. Now, I use my Louisiana fish fry, but I cut it with a little flour. So what I do, put a little flour in here. I like to cut it just a little. And the rest I use the fish fry. I use, of course, you see I get a lot of this stuff. I buy it in these big containers. You can get it in an academy like this. That's where I get mine. Because I fry a lot of fish and shrimp and stuff. So I buy the big one. I guess you can get it in a store like that. But when I'm in the academy, I always pick up one. So I mix this up in here. And this fish fry is already seasoned, y'all. Already seasoned. Let me kind of shake this up here and kind of mix it together here. Y'all know I like my little grocery bags here. Okay. All right. Now, all I do here in this bowl here, I got some milk and eggs. Two eggs and about two cups of milk. So all I'm going to do, put the fish in here. A little at a time. Make sure my oil is hot out here in there. I mean it's hot. What I do, I make sure it's really, really drained good. Throw it in my bag here. Drain it really good. You can use buttermilk if you want to for this. I just use a little milk and egg. And I just take it in here. Bounce this around right here. I'm going to move my camera over here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. Alright. This is really hot here. And 
I just put it right here in my oil. And this takes about, this fish takes about maybe three, four minutes to cook. I don't overcrowd my oil. Of course, you know not to do that. To do that, you're going to be boiling instead of frying. And you don't want to do that. Now, y'all know I like to put my fish on a rack. I don't put my fish on a paper towel, nothing like that, because it makes the fish soggy. That's a tip. Do not put it on paper towel when you fry anything. It makes whatever you're frying very, very soggy. Try to put it on some kind of rack to elevate it out of itself. So, anyway, move this around here. You can say nothing like fried fish, fresh, especially fresh fried fish. It don't get much better than this, y'all. So anyway, I'll be back in a couple of minutes here when I got them all pretty much almost fried up. And we'll show you what I got. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. Okay, I took the first batch out. Look at this. See how nice and crispy that is? That's what you want. Nice, light, and crispy. Not overcooked. And like I say, you put it on a, on a rack to where it doesn't, it's already drained like that on the rack. So it doesn't uh, get soggy. This here we just, you know, little by little, let it cook. I don't try to over, I got four more, what, four more pieces to do here? Yeah, four more pieces. I'm doing like four or five pieces at a time. I don't try to overcrowd my uh, my grease here. Cause like I say, if you overcrowd it, you're gonna be boiling it instead of frying it. That's very important not to overcrowd it. So you're you'll have a nice crispy golden brown piece of fish and it won't be uh, dry and overcooked. So anyway, I'll be back here y'all once I get everything done. We're going to see how this tastes. I already know it's going to be good. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. Okay, we're going to take the last batch out of here y'all. Last batch of fish here. Like I say, you just put it on a, a, rack, a, a wire rack there. Keep pan with a wire rack and let it drain there. We're cutting the pot off here. See how pretty that is, y'all. See how pretty those are. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I got how many minutes? Let's see here. My air fryer, my potatoes got. Wait until the temperature come up. Three minutes. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna plate this up, put it on the platter. My tartar sauce. We come back, we're gonna try these out. Like I said, I got a couple of three, actually three more people gonna help me eat this up tonight. So ain't nothing like fresh fried fish, y'all. Fresh out of the ocean. Probably can still taste the salt in it. This fish was swimming this Saturday right now. So Thursday morning, this fish was still swimming. Yep. So anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. My potatoes are ready. Fish is ready. And we're gonna try this out. Got a little toilet sauce here. Man, look how flaky and crispy this thing is. Mm. I'm telling y'all. Mm. Let me tell y'all. I'm crispy and flaky this here. Look at that. See that? That's fresh fish, y'all. Fresh out of the ocean. Two days ago. Mm. The tartar sauce. Mm, mm, mm. And like I told y'all. These potato wedges I get from Omaha Steaks. You put it in the air fryer 15 minutes. They well seasoned already. These things are amazing. Mm. Game changer for me. When I don't want to cut and peel no potato, it's game changer. But anyway, look how big this fish is, y'all. Look at that. I love black gum, y'all. It is amazing fish. Nice and flaky. It doesn't taste fishy. And it takes so quick to cook. Look, I cooked all this fish in 15 minutes. Same amount of time it took me to cook those potatoes. Full meal in 15 minutes, y'all. Yep. But anyway, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please, uh, Follow my other social media channels, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, 
Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021 Old School Soul Food. Let me show y'all something right quick. See this? That's what I have to do every Saturday. These are for my neighbors. I'm about to take this out. Homemade ice cream, y'all. I told y'all I make ice cream in the summer every weekend. This is a Saturday ritual for me. It's homemade ice cream. So yeah. So I just want to show y'all that. That's a neighbor the kids want ice cream. It takes me 45 minutes to do it. Beginning to end, so it's no big deal. So anyway, uh till next time. Have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Bye.